What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Dono, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can install Xbox 360, the SDK, also known as Xbox 360 Neighborhood, uh, on your PC and then get it set up on your JTAGged and Reset Glitch Hack and RJTAGged Xbox 360s. Alrighty guys, so Xbox 360 Neighborhood pretty much allows you to uh, do anything on your Xbox 360. Uh, it, you can transfer files just like FTP. However, you can also launch XEX files. You can pretty much control your entire Xbox 360 console through your computer. Now, this is great if you want to take your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 online with a stealth service. You can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood. That way, so you never have to use XEX menu again. You never have to use Freestyle Dash. And uh, there will be no question as to uh, whether you're on a freestyle dash uh, because as we all know if you're on freestyle dash or xcx menu uh, and you're on xbox live then you definitely increase your chances of getting banned whereas if you use xbox 360 neighborhood it takes a little bit longer for you to get banned alrighty guys so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the xbox 360 sdk the version that i have is version 212.56.3 that's the version that I have here that's just what was provided to me and you need this xbdm.xex file now this xbdm.xex file I will provide a download link in the description there are multiple versions of the xbdm xex file uh, some of these are reported not to work some are reported to work just fine some work for certain consoles others work for others so you pretty much just have to download them all and uh, do trial and error what works for you, what does not work for you. So I will have download links in the description below for all of those XBDM XEX files. Now as for the Xbox 360 SDK or Xbox 360 Neighborhood here, I will have a download link in the description below to the newest version of the SDK that I can find. And uh, if I can find a download link, I will upload... Uh, this version here that I'm using as well uh, for the Xbox 360 uh, neighborhood or SDK. However, please note that this is very hard to get a hold of. You're not supposed to have the SDK. It's an internal Microsoft tool. It's meant for dev kits, and uh, but you can use it with a JTAG or reset glitch hack with this XEX file here. Uh, but please note it's for internal use only. You're really not supposed to have it. It's hard to get a hold of. So uh, the download links for the SDK, uh, they will go down, I promise you that. And if they go down, please comment below, please message me, tell me the download links are down so I can update the download links for you guys. Alrighty guys, so once we have that uh, done there, the first thing you want to do is you want to transfer this XEX file to your Xbox 360 console. So I'm just going to load up FileZilla here, and we'll connect... And we'll go to my hard drive here. And as you can see, I already have the XEX file there, but we're just going to drag that over there. And we're going to copy it to our uh, Reset Glitch Hack or JTAG Xbox 360. Alrighty, guys, now that we have that XEX file over on our JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack Xbox 360, we are just going to need to switch over to our Xbox 360. And I will show you guys how to set up this XEX plugin. Alrighty guys, now that we're in our Xbox 360, our Reset Glitch Hacked or JTAGged Xbox 360 here, and we have those uh, XEX files transferred over to our Xbox 360 here, the first thing we want to do is go to our File Manager. Once we're in our File Manager here, we're just going to make sure that those XEX files transferred over. As you can see right here, xbdm.xex, the file transferred over. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and launch, dash launch here. We're going to install our default.xex. And under here, we're going to go to plugins. And under plugins, we'll go to our open plugin. And we'll go ahead and select the xex file that we transferred over to our console here. Once we have that selected here, you go ahead and press back here and we will press RB, the right bumper, and X to save, setting save to our INI file here. You want to make sure that it is on your hard drive, not your USB flash drive, 
And if it's not on your hard drive, you want to make sure it's either on your flash or your memory unit. So once we have that saved there, we're just going to save it again. And we're going to go ahead and back out here. It's going to go ahead and refresh our console here. And once we have this done right here, we just want to restart our console. So after this here is done, just go ahead and restart your console, and I will see you guys back on the PC. Alrighty guys, now that we have the plugin set up, we are back on the desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can install Xbox 360 Neighborhood. So the first thing you want to do is right click on this, and you want to run it as an administrator. Now this may take a little bit to load here, uh, this is a 1.56 gigabytes uh, total installation file here. We'll click yes there, and we'll wait on it to load up here. Now also I will provide a torrent link as well to this since it's 1.46 gigabytes to so sometimes 1.5 gigabytes. I will provide a torrent as well, however the torrent is always changing, so it may not work for you. Alrighty guys, right here, uh, you will need about 5.3 gigabytes of disk space on your uh, computer. So if you're on an SSD like I am, as you can see, you just want to make sure that you have uh, storage to spare there. And you just want to press next here. Now. The following guide will guide you through the process of setting up your dev kit. You can pretty much ignore that. Uh, just click next. As for the destination folder, this is where you can install it. In this case, I'm going to install it on the hard drive that I have instead, so I'll switch that to D. However, you will want to keep that as the C drive unless you're running an SSD and hard drive like I am, and you want to save space on your SSD. So click next. And you just want to click whichever one. Uh, in this case, I have minimum installation, so that's what we are going to choose. Uh, however, if you have the option to do a full installation, then select full installation. This varies on what version of the SDK you're using. In this case, mine it only allows me to do minimum. So we'll click next here, and it's going to go ahead and install the Xbox 360 SDK. Alrighty guys, as you can see right here, uh, the Microsoft Xbox 360 Software Development Kit installation has completed. We'll select finish, and we'll just let that close out there. Alrighty guys, now right here, you have Xbox 360 Neighborhood right here on your desktop. Go ahead and double click that. Now, if you are using Windows 10, you want to update your Xbox 360 neighborhood. That means use the latest version. In this case, I'm using 21.25.6.3. This works with Windows 10. So any version past this should also work with Windows 10. Any version before this may or may not work. So once you load up Xbox 360 neighborhood here, it will load up a file explorer, but it will say Xbox 360 neighborhood. Just go ahead and press add Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, and now that you will get to here, and you'll see specifying an Xbox 360 development kit, and you'll need to specify your Xbox 360 development kit here. So if you're on the same network, uh, you're hardwired in or something, you want to type in your Xbox 360 name. In this case for me, uh, that would be JTAG. So the main thing you want to do is on under Xbox 360 name or IP address, just type in JTAG. And you want to go ahead and press next. In this case, mine uh, JTAG could not be found. If you get that error there, then you will need to type in your IP address. Uh, the IP address will be listed on Freestyle Dash. So go ahead and paste my IP address in there. And like I said, if JTAG doesn't work, go ahead and put your IP address in. And go ahead and press next. As you can see, would you like to use uh, your IP address here as the default Xbox 360 development kit? 
Uh, yes, no, does not really matter there. Press next and finish. Now, as you can see right here, uh, labeled JTAG, what do you know? And right here we have our X Xbox 360 right here uh, in Xbox 360 neighborhood. So if we go ahead and load up JTAG here, and you'll see that we have all of our titles here. If we go to hard drive one here, you notice that we have these, and I can go to games here. And let's go to Black Ops 2, because why not? Now I can drag this over here, and I'll go ahead and load up Papog uh, HD, HD PVR 2, the Papog capture software. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that we... Already as I have a pod capture here, as you can see right here, a live uh, capture of the Xbox 360 here. Now in Xbox 360 neighborhood here, we'll go find our default, the XCX file here, double click it, and it should load up on our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 like so. And as you can see right there, it has loaded up Black Ops 2. Uh, on our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 right there. I'll go ahead and dashboard again. Or I can go ahead and I can show you guys another cool thing. We'll go to games here. Let's say I want to go to Gears of War 3 here. Double click it and we're in Gears of War 3. like so we can control our xbox 360 jtag or reset glitch hack xbox 360 uh, with xbox 360 neighborhood we can transfer files and all that good stuff do rte tools real-time editing real-time modding all that good stuff change kvs you name it so uh hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helped you set up your Xbox 360 neighborhood and get it set up with your JTAG or Reset Glitch Hack or even your dev kit Xbox 360. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. Come back for future tutorials on Xbox 360 neighborhood and all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.